Hi Year One learners and welcome to Lesson 58. My name is Danielle, thanks for joining me again. Now you may have joined in on Lesson 57 where we learnt that two-dimensional shapes have sides and corners. Remember, a corner is a place or angle where two sides meet and a side is a line on the boundary joining one corner to another. Now, we had to help Mike Meerkat learn a little bit about two-dimensional shapes and I read him a story to help. Let's revisit it. There are many shapes in our world. We see them everywhere we go. Some shapes can be described as two-dimensional. There are corners on two-dimensional shapes. There are sides on two-dimensional shapes. Two-dimensional shapes are flat and can't be picked up. Two-dimensional shapes have been seen on the faces of objects, in drawings and in the environment. Two-dimensional shapes have sides that can be straight or curved. Two-dimensional shapes can have a name like circle or rectangle. There are many interesting shapes all around us. What two-dimensional shapes can you see in your world? Now, you may have done the home task. I'd like to show what I did. Now, I made a shape memory game and I've put it in my book inside this envelope. And what I did was I had to draw and then match the shape to its name. I played with my mum, Tracy. I hope you had fun playing your memory game at home. Our learning intention today is to notice and describe corners and sides on two-dimensional shapes. Now, two-dimensional shapes have attributes or the characteristics of a shape. They are corners and sides. They are two of the attributes that can help us recognise a shape. Now, I have a book by my wonderful author friend, Ebony, and it's called The Mystery of Shapes. Can I read it to you? Great. Can you help solve the mystery of the hidden shapes? How many corners and how many sides? Oh, I wonder if these shapes will be in our book. Okay, now you have to guess the shape that is hiding under the flap. Are you ready? I have three corners and three sides. What am I? What shape is it, do you think? I am a triangle. I have four corners and four sides. My sides are all the same length. Hmm, what shape am I? What do you think? Say it now. Let's check. I am a square. I have four corners and four sides. The opposite sides are the same length. Two of the sides are shorter than the other. What shape am I? Hmm, what could it be? What do you think? I am a rectangle. I have six corners and six straight sides. What shape am I? What do you think? Let's check. I am a hexagon. I have four corners and four sides. Two of the sides are diagonal. What am I? Hmm, that's a tricky one. What do you think? I am a trapezium. Did you get that one? Well done. I have eight corners and eight straight sides. What am I? Ooh, what do you think? I am an octagon. How did you go? Did you work out all the mystery shapes? Great job, everybody. 
Now I'm going to have a go at making some shapes using these matchsticks. The first shape I'm going to make is a triangle. Now we know that triangles have three corners and three sides. So each matchstick is going to be one side. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. Okay, now let's check three corners and three sides. It's a triangle. Now I want you to trace a triangle in the air. One, two, three. Well done. Let's make another shape. Oh, a rectangle. Now we know that rectangles have four corners and four sides, but with rectangles, the opposite sides are equal. And we know that two sides are shorter and two sides are longer. Let's have a go at making a rectangle. Now, this time, if I was to just use four matchsticks, it's not looking like a rectangle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to join two matchsticks together to make my two longer sides. And then these ones here are going to be my shorter sides. Is it a rectangle? Let's check. Four corners, one, two, three, four, and four sides, one, two, three, four, where the opposite sides are equal. Now this time, we're going to draw a rectangle in the air with our elbows. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Well done. Okay, let's do one more shape. Ah, this time, a square. Now like a rectangle, a square has four sides and four corners, but we know that the sides on a square are all equal. So let's make the square. One, two, oh, that one's a bit broken. I might use another one. Three and four. Let's check, is it a square? Four corners, one, two, three, four, and four sides that are all equal. One, two, three, four. Now this time, I want you to draw a square in the air using your nose. Are you ready? Mm, 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 mm. Well done, everybody. Now I'm going to pack this up and we're going to go shopping at Mike's Super Shape Shop. Now you may have joined me in lesson 57 when Mike learned about two dimensional sh shapes as he was setting up a super shape shop. Now Mike's rule for his super shape shop is that a shape costs the same amount as the number of sides it has. So this is his price list here and a shape that has three sides will cost $3. A shape that has four sides will cost $4. A five-sided shape has $5. A six-sided shape will cost $6. And finally, an eight-sided shape will cost, you guessed it, $8. Now, we have $15 to spend at Mike's Super Shape Shop. I'm going to write that here. There's the dollar sign and 15. Now, I'm wondering what shapes could we buy for $15? Now, I have some pictures here of the shapes that we can choose from. 
just going to put a few out. So I'd like to think of some possibilities of how we could spend $15. Let's have a go. So if I was to buy, let me think, a rectangle, that costs $4. And let me see, what else? A square. That's another $4. So four and four is eight. We still haven't spent 15. I could keep shopping. Let's do, hmm, I might do a trapezium. Let's stick that up. So far, four and four is eight, and four more is 12. How many, how much more money have I got to spend from 15? Start at 12, 13, 14, 15. So for $3, I'm looking for a shape that has three sides. What could it be? Did you say a triangle? Well done. Let's stick that up. I'm going to write three. Now let's just check four and four is eight. Another four is 12 and three more is 15. Well done. Now, I'm wondering, is that the only way that I could spend $15? Could there be other combinations? Your home task is to have a go at exploring all the different ways that you could spend $15 at Mike's Super Shape Shop. Don't forget to record. If you are after a challenge, you might like to have a go at spending $30 at Mike's Super Shape Shop. In this lesson, we noticed and described the attributes of two-dimensional shapes. Sides and corners are two of the attributes that help us recognise and name the shapes. Thanks for joining me everybody. I'll see you next time.